Welcome to the Unit 7, Section 3 video on similar triangles. I'm Mr. Lineski. We're going to get going here uh, talking about similar triangles. All of last section we talked about similar polygons, and one of the key concepts there was that to prove that two polygons were similar, uh, we needed to know that all of the angles were congruent and that all of the sides were proportional. So that concept is still going to be reoccurring here, except now our main focus is just on triangles. So there's actually three ways to show that triangles are similar, and those three ways are angle-angle similarity, side-angle-side similarity, and side-side-side similarity. So we've actually seen side-side-side and side-angle-side before. We talked about triangle congruency. So now we're just sort of talking about similarity, where instead of proving that two sides are congruent, now we're proving that two sides are proportional. Um, so for angle-angle similarity, if two angles of a triangle are congruent, so remember, angles are congruent, uh, to two angles of a second triangle, then we can say that the two triangles are similar. So an example of what that may look like is if I have a figure here and I have two triangles and I mark those two angles congruent. Something that you may remember from back in the triangle congruency uh, unit was vertical angles. I can always mark vertical angles congruent. So based on that figure, I don't know what the measure of the angles are, but I know that two angles in each triangle are congruent, therefore these two triangles have to be similar. So I can't say that they're congruent because I don't know what the side lengths are, but I can at least say that they're going to be similar because two of the angles are congruent. So that's angle-angle similarity. Um, Side-angle-side similarity basically states that if I have two sides of a triangle, um, if two sides of a triangle are proportional to two sides of a second triangle and their included angles are congruent, um, then I can say the two triangles are similar. So given this little example here, notice that this angle is marked congruent, so that's congruency, is angles. So if I said that angle X is congruent to angle M, and if I know that the two sides are proportional. So if you recall, for side angle side, if my angle is here, I want the sides to go there. Um, that way it goes side, angle, side. So what I need to show is that the two sides are proportional. So if X is congruent to M, and if I said that uh, side ZX over XY is equal to PM over MN, um, then I could say that these two triangles are similar. So just like we did last class, if I can show that, whoops, uh, if I can show that the two sides are proportional, and because I have that included angle that's congruent, I can say that those triangles are similar. And again, we write our little similarity statement there, making sure that the correct letters match up. So Z matches with P, X matches with um, M and Y matches with N. And then finally, side 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 similarity theorem, we state that if um, all three sides of a triangle are proportional to all three sides of a second triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Um, so in our figure down here, we have triangle ABC and we have triangle RST. So if I said that AB is to RS as AC is to RT, and BC is to ST. So if all three of those proportions are equal to each other, meaning that they have um, the same scale factor, just like what we talked about last class, if they all have the same scale factor, I can say the triangles are similar. So I can write a similarity statement ABC is similar to RST. 
Um, this piece right here, where I set all of those proportions equal to each other, we may have talked about this last class. Um, this is known as a statement of proportionality. So if a question ever asks you to write a statement of proportionality, that's what they're kind of looking for. Basically just set the three sides um, equal to each other in proportions. So let's take a look at some example problems on what this looks like. Um, so on the back here of the worksheet, we have determine if the triangles are similar, write a similarity statement, explain why. So anytime it asks you to explain why, your answer essentially for that is going to be angle-angle similarity, side-side-side similarity, or side-angle-side similarity. So that's sort of your explain why part. Um, so looking at this problem, we have two triangles. We know absolutely nothing about the side lengths. So because I know nothing about the side lengths, I can automatically rule out those two things because I don't have any side lengths. So really, I'm just looking for, is this angle-angle similarity? So if you look in each triangle, I'm missing an angle. So what I can do is I can find that missing angle by doing 180 minus 42 minus 58. That tells me that this is 80 degrees. Over here, same thing. I can do 180 minus 80 minus 42. That tells me that this is 58. If I look at my triangles, they all have the same angles. Therefore, yes, these are uh, similar from angle angle similarity. And a similarity statement could look something like this. So this is not the only similarity statement. You could write it a few different ways. But as always, just make sure that A matches with E, B matches with D, and C matches with F. Moving on to the next problem. Same thing, determine if the triangles are similar, write a similarity statement, explain why. Um, so this one you could actually do two different ways. I'm going to show you um, one way in particular. So um, looking here, I actually have all three sides on each triangle. So notice all the sides are filled in. So I'm going to check side-side-side similarity. So to check side-side-side similarity, I'm going to say that 4 is to 6. So the way that I'm setting it up is I'm going from the little triangle to the big triangle. So when I set up my fractions and my proportions here, little should be in the numerator and big should be in the denominator. So that means 4, 6, and 5 should all be in my numerators. So 6 is to 4, I can say 6 is to 9, and then I can say 5 is to 7.5. And now I basically just want to check to see, do these give me the same um, scale factor? So on your calculator, you can just simply type in these numbers, and 4 divided by 6 as a decimal gives me 0.66 repeating. So in order for this to be similar, all three of these have to be 0.66 repeating, which they all happen to be. So from just looking at this, I could say that yes, these triangles are similar from side-side-side similarity. Um, my similarity statement here, I could say triangle DCE is similar to triangle ACB. Now again, you could have also done it with side angle side if you mentioned vertical angles, but that's a different way to do it. Um, third problem here, it says determine if the triangles are similar, complete the similarity statement, write a proportion to solve for the missing side lengths. So by just looking at this figure, I can mark vertical angles, and now notice I have an angle and an angle in each triangle, so yes, these triangles are similar from angle-angle similarity. So I didn't even do anything with the sides, I just looked at the angles and knew that they were similar. Um, so complete the similarity statement, we can do that right now. Um, we can say triangle ABE is similar to triangle CDE. Um, to solve for X, now we just set up our proportion. So lots of different ways we can set this up. Once again, just visually looking at the triangle, 
I'm going to say that this is the little triangle and that this is the big triangle. And when I set up my proportion, I'm going to go little is to big. So 10 is to x as 6 is to 8. And now we just cross multiply here. So when I cross multiply, I get 6x is equal to 80. Divide both sides by 6, and you get that x is equal to 13.33 repeating. This problem here, um, this is going to be, ah, what happened? Sorry about that. Weird thing in the video. Um, this is actually going to be a try it question, so you can work on that one on your own. Um, this problem here will be the last one that we go over, and then the problem after that will also be a try it. So it says determine whether the triangles are similar. If yes, identify the postulate that supports your answer. Write a similarity statement. So notice again here, no side lengths are given. So I can't use side, side, side. I can't use side, angle, side. I have parallel lines, so really all I'm looking for is can I do angle, angle similarity? If you recall back to the triangle congruency unit, when we had those parallel lines, one of the things we always looked for were alternate interior angles. So it's making a little bow tie, so we can say vertical angles for sure. And because of these parallel lines, and this would technically be a transversal, I could say that this angle here is congruent to this angle because of alternate interior angles. So are these triangles congruent? Yes. Why? Angle angle similarity. And then write a congr or uh, sorry, a similarity statement. So A B C would be similar to triangle E D C. So as I mentioned to you before, this last problem here, this is also a triac question, so you have the two problems to work on. And that is it for the video.